What's up everyone? This is your boy Jay, aka Herc420 on Instagram and Herc213 on YouTube. And I'm back with another awesome video for you guys today, and especially for today too, um, with the full moon in Taurus and lunar eclipse, I believe, is today, you know, November 19th, 2021. Um, and I just, you know, want to make this special video for you guys today and just, you know, you know, give you guys a guided meditation and slash, you know, nidra, you know, any choice that you want to make, whether you want to, you know, just lie in Shavasana, yoga nidra, just, you know, calming the body and the mind too. And as well as, you know, a guided meditation where you can just, you know, uh, just sit in your chair and just really, you know, pause to, and just, you know, take those moments for ourselves, too. I know it probably sounds the same, too, when I'm just thinking about it. But I just want to do something special for you guys and give you guys some options today, too. As well as, you know, any many rooms of your choosing, too. You know, the cards that I drew, too, for this video. And just like, you know, um, with the full moon and Taurus, you know, and then Taurus sign, I believe, is, you know, really all about grounding your energy and really just, you know, uh, manifesting so it's like a pretty powerful um, season, uh, time right now too for us to you know um, manifest really just you know um, what we want to you know things we want to manifest in our lives too you know and just taking action and so on and so forth and if I'm wrong about this information too feel free to educate me too so I'm still learning about astrology and you know it's pretty cool stuff you know and, you know, wondering like, oh, there's another guy talking about astrology. That's cool, you know? And just like, you know, like the astrology, it's like a blueprint in our everyday lives and our own galaxy too. So it's pretty cool stuff. And <clears throat> especially, you know, um, the lunar eclipse too. And I think we had a solar eclipse uh, in the summer too. And now it's just like, you know, the lunar eclipse too, just for today in the fall slash winter. So yeah, it's kind of, it's one of those beautiful times. And I believe it's like the Hebrew full moon too. I believe I, I just keep hearing about that too. And this is the one it's like we haven't seen in a thousand years. So that's going to be pretty cool information to learn too. And just like, you know, whether you guys are watching this on Instagram, I, I will make do my best to just, you know, uh, really provide you some stuff too, making like a short version. That way I'll post a link to the full version of the video so you guys are watching on YouTube. You know, I, I just want to really give the support to my Instagram followers and especially, you know, the, my YouTube subscribers too. Those who are new to watching my channel or are recent subscribers, you know, I just, you know, appreciate all of you guys too for supporting me, sharing my channel, giving likes up, you know, my videos and live streams sharing this channel with your family and friends who could benefit from this. And just like, you know, um, hopefully you guys really enjoyed what I provided in this video for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys want to hit me up on social media or anything else too, feel free to check out my link tree. Also, totally cool stuff. <clears throat> if you want to acquire my services about, you know, um, essential oils and, you know, even if you guys want to do a full uh, super Hulk low class too, or check out my Patreon or send a donation. Well, you guys don't have to do that too. That's all for live streams. Or just, you know, I love your stuff too. Add me on social media, Instagram and Facebook and all that. So with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, you know, um, and, you know, yeah, happy full moon in Taurus, lunar eclipse, Libra moon, um, all that beautiful stuff too. And, Hope you guys really learn and enjoy what I've shared in this video and let's get this party started. Welcome to your full moon in Taurus, lunar eclipse, guided meditation, yoga nidra, whichever option that you're choosing for today's full moon cycle and lunar eclipse. Feel free to choose which option that suits suits you best. As we are laying down in our mats in Shavasana or we're sitting comfortably in our chair, keeping our body relaxed, 
keeping our mind still or in the present moment. In either one, whichever option that you're choosing, feel free to do so. And when you're ready, you can start to gently close your eyes. As we are keeping our body still, being the present moment, relaxing the body completely, keeping our mind focused in this present moment for our experience today in this full moon cycle and lunar eclipse. Let's start by just allowing the breath to flow naturally. Then the uh, breath flow naturally, where you can just blend it flow when you breathe in and then exhale. I just allow the breath to just flow naturally to where you're not forcing it, to where you can just breathe in and then release the breath, the exhalation. And while you are doing this, then the body flow naturally, then the breath flow naturally, where you can just breathe in and let go of the exhalation, releasing any tension, thoughts, heaviness from our energetic field. And while we are doing this, let's set a powerful intention for today's full moon cycle and lunar eclipse. Whatever that may be for yourself, for your loved ones, and for the environment. Really set that powerful intention with mindful awareness and love. As we are continuing to allow the breath to flow naturally, keeping our mind still and calm and present in this moment, allowing it to, us to connect with our heart and our breath to where we allow the breath to flow naturally. When we bring that new energy in, when we inhale, 
and then letting go of any tension and heaviness in my body with the exhalation. And always know and allow ourselves to thank our hearts for being in this present moment so that we can take those moments for ourselves to just relax, to let the body melt, to scan whatever that needs to be healed. When we breathe, when we take in that life to where it can fill us up with new energy. And then allowing the breath to exhale to release any heaviness and tension that no longer serves us. As we are taking our last few breaths, allow the breath to flow naturally. We can inhale, taking that life in to fill us up. And then releasing the breath with the exhalation, releasing anything that no longer serves us. And while we are doing that, let's start to bring some awareness back into our body, wiggling our fingers, hands, wrists, ankles, toes, any subtle movement that can help move the energy around within your body. Really tune into that in your own unique way. And when you are ready, you can start to gently open your eyes. Hey everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the wonderful guided meditation and yoga nidra, whichever option that you chose. Hopefully you guys chose it with, you know, mindful awareness and love with all that good stuff for the full moon in Taurus and lunar eclipse for today. And, you know, as you can see here, I did uh, two um, three card readings, you know, for today's um, full moon cycle and uh, lunar eclipse. And just like whichever option that you choose, or whether you choose both, you know, I'd love to share these, you know, powerful messages for today. And the first card I'm going to share with the, you know, Art of Attention Yoga Healing Cards is, you know, 
the first card I got is the card of peace. And so if anyone chose this, you know, the top, uh, the, uh, the top three, top cards on the top, you know, just like you to really practice peace, you know, you know, and especially when you practice peace within your own self-care practice where you can just, you know, to breathe and to relax, you know, and just like in this message, it says, you know, the most valuable peace arrives within your next breath. And so whatever that, you know, helps you bring peace within your breath to where you can just, you know, um, take those moments for yourself to just breathe and to relax, to get grounded. Just like in this pose you see here with the uh, mountain pose. And you just, you know, take and just, you know, to breathe and to relax and find that inner peace within yourself in your uh, self-care practice. So I'm going to really flip this card over. And so if you pick the, and the next card that I chose for anyone who chose the uh, top card, it's on the top, you know, with the Art of Attention yoga, yoga Healing cards is, you know, I got the card of forgiveness. And so with forgiveness, you know, just like what you can uh, take, for you, take for yourself with this message and for today's moon cycle and lunar eclipse is just to really practice forgiveness, you know, within your body, you know, and just, you know, um, like within like forgiveness and with the body, it holds a lot of emotions, especially, you know, if we dealt with so much heaviness, you know, within our body, dealing with, you know, certain situations, other people, and so on and so forth, especially for those who are very empathic and sensitive, who are just, you know, have that kind of um, gentle nature about themselves. And just like when you practice forgiveness within your body, to where you can just, you know, move that energy around, to where you can just, you know, let go of anything that doesn't serve you, and just, you know, forgive and learn from it and just, you know, be in a better place than you were before. It's just really, you know, a powerful way to do that. So whatever it helps you practice, you know, forgiveness. And, you know, like in this message says, feel the wisdom of forgiveness alive in your body. Just really practicing forgiveness in your own way, within your body. So whatever it helps you practice forgiveness, just, you know, um, stretching out the hands or even just, you know, um, or just the physical, just, you know, um, writing a journal or just, you know, anything else to, anything that helps you just, you know, forgive and to let go and release it, you know, that doesn't, no longer serves you. Really practice that in your own way. So that's the second card I pulled. And forgive me for my sloppy camera work, but the last card I pulled on the top, you know, that you guys can take for anyone who picked up first card, the first uh, three card reading on top is, you know, the, uh, got the presence card. And so this card says your presence here shapes your presence everywhere. And just like, you know, when you practice presence, especially, you know, in this pose too, the hero's pose, where you can just, you know, allow yourself to re be present to where you are just, you know, being present in this very moment just being aware of what you, how you're feeling, how you, what you're thinking about, et cetera, et cetera. And just like, you know, to really practice presence in your own self-care practice in your own way, just to where you can just, you know, like, just really know what's up, you know, within your body, just really tune into how you're feeling, what you're feeling within your body, within your mind, within your heart, and just really practice that in your own way. So I'm going to pull this other card down. And if for anyone who picked the second cards, uh, second reading on the bottom with the uh, Elemental Oracle deck, um, the first card I pulled is the Attraction card. And so with this card too, and with this message, you know, and, I, and just like doing the leadership reading, I saw uh, feet walking, you know, it was kind of like interesting. And it's kind of like, you know, um, it's all about moving forward too. So with the attraction card and magnetism, and it's really connected to the earth, 
it's just really good time to really know what we really want to attract in our lives too. Because especially now, you know, the full moon and the Taurus is really a grounding energy. It's really connected to the earth and so was this element too. It's just like, you know, it's like, a, it, uh, how can you say it? It's really no, good to know what we want in life too, what we will allow and won't allow. What we will allow and won't allow. Kind of like, you know, setting those boundaries too. Really know what you want, you know, for yourself, for your self-care practice, for your goals, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna put that first card down. And then, you know, the second card that I pull, you know, along with it is the uh, breath card. And so with this message too, especially, you know, for today's full moon cycle, it's just to really uh, also take those moments to where we can just, you know, to breathe and connect with our heart. As you see here, this picture of the heart and this lady is just, you know, this woman, I should say, is just really connecting with her heart. And just like to take those moments for yourself to really just relax, connect with your heart and just releasing anything that doesn't serve us, you know, because with the breath card, this is really connected to the air and, you know, life and the air is essential, especially for all walks of life. You know, oxygen is part of our everyday living. You know, we can't live without it. And just like to practice, you know, you know, connecting with your breath in your own way to where you can just take those moments for yourself to just breathe and to relax can be really powerful. And so, yeah, whatever that helps you, you know, connect with your breath, allowing the breath to flow naturally to where you can just take those moments for yourself to breathe and just to let go of anything that doesn't serve us. And the last card that I pulled, you know, along with the second card is the alchemy card, the magic card. And so with this message too, especially, it's just like, you know, a powerful message to always know that we have the power to manifest. And just like, you know, with manifestation, this is no more than just, you know, saying it too. This is just like all about action as well. So this element is connected with fire and air. And so like, you know, fire is very action oriented and air is very free. And so like, you know, with alchemy and magic, you know, and this is really connected to manifestation. And it's just like, you know, you always you have the power to really manifest when we take action to the, anything that we want to experience and want in our lives too. So especially for the full moon cycle too, you know, for um, uh, full moon cycle in Taurus and for today's lunar, uh, lunar eclipse, it's just like to always know that we have the power to manifest and to really, you know, um, take action to what we want to manifest to just really allowing the magic to flow naturally where we can just use that kind of magic to manifest anything when we're taking action and really go for what we want to um, experience and to um, uh, really um, to really manifest in our lives too, especially if it's career related, you know, relationship goal related. Um, et cetera, et cetera. Just really, you know, always know that we have the power to really, you know, manifest and really using our magic to really uh, bring in uh, anything that we want to experience and, and desire in our lives too, with action and with mindful awareness. And so I'm going to flip these cards over just, you know, for anyone who is just saying, uh, Still watching this video. I'm just gonna share these cards again too. Put these bad boys over. There we go. And we're gonna share these cards again too. And so again, I, the first card I drew from the top on the top corner is just you know the card of peace to really find those peaceful moments within your self-care practice. And also to really practice forgiveness, you know, within your body and within your heart and mind too. Just to really practice forgiveness where you can just 
you know, let go and just anything that doesn't serve you and just, you know, be in a better place than you were before. And also is just, you know, the card of presence too, to really be present with how you're feeling or what you're thinking about and really just, you know, really being in tune to, you know, everything, the sensations in your body, your energy, et cetera, et cetera, really being present in this moment too, you know. And also with the cards too on the bottom, is just like a, always know that what you want with the attraction card, really just getting grounded, grounded to where and really be mindful of what we want to, what we want and what we want to attract in our lives too. And to also take those moments for ourselves to really just to breathe, to really connect with our breath to where we can just breathe in, take that life in, and then letting go of anything that doesn't serve us. And to always know that we have the power to manifest anything in our lives too, when we take action and to really, we take action and really go for what we want to experience and desire in our lives. And so with that being said, I'm gonna flip these. You know what, I'm gonna slip these cards open too. So that concludes with the uh, full moon in Taurus, lunar eclipse, guided meditation, uh, yoga nidra mini reading. I hope you guys really enjoyed the guided meditation slash yoga nidra, whichever option that you chose. Hope you guys can really enjoy that experience as well as the cards I drew too for uh, today's full moon cycle and lunar eclipse. And may we continue to practice self-care that can benefit us as human beings for our loved ones in our environment. And I'll see you guys around with more content for you guys to learn and to enjoy. Peace and much love. Namaste. Thank you.